I'm Darina. And I'm Alec. And this is MTV. First, let's start with the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let's take a look at this week's events. Monday is light with an EMCC rep on campus. Tuesday features playoff action for our Lady Tigers as they look to grab their fourth straight championship. On Wednesday, there will be an NAU field trip and more playoff basketball as our boys begin their championship run. Girls soccer is also in second round action following their opening round victory against Gilbert last week and make sure you buy your tickets to support our Tigers this week. There will be no school on Friday the 18th. However, students, you still have some responsibilities on this day. Please stay tuned for more information. That's it for this week, Tigers. Enjoy your four-day weekend, and see you all Tuesday. So you may have heard that this week we're having a work and learn at home day, one of three in the year. Pretty cool, right? It's basically a free day off. Let's learn more about it. During these work and learn at home days, you are not obligated to join a video call for each period. And I'm sure everybody let out a sigh of relief there. Most likely, attendance will be taken for each of your classes through a bell work question. And during these work and learn at home days, teachers will be available via email or video call for tutoring or questions. Be sure to make the most out of this opportunity, whether it comes to doing missing assignments, or talking with your teacher about a lesson, or just sleeping. Please sleep if you have to. class is a um, course we have at Millennium started a couple years ago where we have intellectual disabilities along with Gen Ed um, coming together and playing sports. We go through uh, different competitions uh, against different teams and this year we're hoping to uh, do track and add more throughout the semester. So on the week of February 28th through March the 4th we are doing a spread the word campaign through our unified club uh, on campus and we are going to do uh, different days having different events. On Monday you should have an advisory lesson that we give you with a PowerPoint and obviously a video showing what our course is and what the campaign is. On Tuesday we're going to have a moment where you can pledge to include. During A and B lunches we are going to have tables out there um, in the middle of around uh, Tiger's Den and we are going to have a big banner for you to come with your Sharpies and sign to pledge to include with uh, intellectual disabilities along with those who don't have it, just pledging to include them in your everyday life. And then on Thursday is our big event for the minute that matters. During second period, we are going to have a couple of our student uh, body from uh, Stugo in our second period for a unified class coming to your classes. And within a minute, you're going to uh, try to give us a donation. Just anything is, uh, is what we're, we're, we're wanting. Change, cash, ask your parents for um, just simple change. And whatever your, your second period class raises in a minute uh, will go to our program. The class that has the most uh, money raised, funds raised, will get a pizza party. And we're doing a school reward that if the school raises over $2,500, uh, then we will be be pine in the face, Mr. 
uh, Stevens, our principal, and me, the unified sports teacher, during a pep rally. So that is an incentive for the entire student body at Millennium to get into this fundraiser and all the funds go back to the unified sports program so that we can have travel, equipment, um, meals for when we go to our competitions. If you see a person with a disability, say hi. Showing your support and making a pledge on March 1st to include Hi, I'm Mrs. Richin, and welcome to my crib. So, this is kind of what's in front of my classroom. I have my words of wisdom, some of my favorite quotes that I like, um, and then I have my weekly agendas here. I have my freshmen, I have my sophomores, just so they can get an idea of what we're doing for the entire week. Um, this is projected at the beginning of every single class. These are my agendas. So I have my object objectives, um, our to-do list, their bell work, reminders, and homework reminders. Um, these are my freshman slides. I have a different set for my sophomores. Um, these are some of my sophomore projects actually from like two years ago. They came out really, really nice. I especially love this one. This is my favorite because um, they did such a good job. Um, but it was on a graphic novel called Mouse. Um, and the students really, really loved it, and the projects turned out really great, and so I kept them hung up. Um, over here, this is some of my freshman projects we've done. Uh, we do the Hero's Journey project, and these were some of um, the best projects that they came up with. So they got to track any story that they wanted, whether it was a book, a movie, a TV show, um, and explain how it fit into Joseph Campbell's Hero's Journey textual structure. Um, let's go over here, let's see, we'll walk to the other side of the classroom. Over on this wall, we have our sophomore push project, we just did this. Um, and essentially, our sophomores were challenged to think about what pushes them and what drives them, because semester two, sometimes we feel a little lazy and unmotivated, so um, I asked them to bring in things that motivated them, pushed them to success, um, and some of these are their projects. Some of them did, did go above and beyond, like they made like whole booklets, some of them. Um, and it's just a reminder to see like what pushes us. Um, over here, we have kind of like, kind of like a refrigerator wall. Like my students just like to draw things for me and they just like to put them up on the board. So this is things from like Christmas and Thanksgiving and just some llamas that they drew for me. It's up here. We have my Tiger Pride schedule for the week, color coded as always. Um, and it changes every week, just as a reminder of the different opportunities they have for reassessments. I have my birthday wall of upcoming birthdays, so it's color coded. So my purple markers are my third hour. Um, this is second hour. Uh, green is fifth hour, and then blue is fifth hour or fourth hour. My bad. So everyone's name eventually comes up here, um, and they actually do get excited for some weird reason to have their name and birthday on the board. So. This is my magical bookshelf, my book recommendations. So this is like my personal bookshelf, things that um, I enjoy reading. I have my great quotes from great women, of course. Um, I have Hope in the Mail, which is um, a reflection on like writing, like the writing process, as well as some YA fiction novels that I recommend to my students. Over here in this corner, I have my t-shirt. Um, I student taught at Millennium three, four years ago. Something like that. And my students, they made this t-shirt for me. So you'll see that we have the ASU pitchfork because I graduated from ASU. And then the Millennium Tiger there to represent my transition to coming uh, to be a Millennium Tiger. And they all signed their names for it, um, on it. And it's just a reminder of like my very first like students I had. Um, and just like, it feels like so long ago. I think they're graduating from college like next year, which is crazy. Um, and then over here, obviously, I have my coffee station and tea station, my self-care station, if you will. Um, I have my chamomile tea, my honey, my coffee pot, my kettle, and this is just where if I need relaxation or, or a cup of coffee during the day, I just make it. This is like 
my little sanctuary with my rug and my bookshelf and my coffee pot. And this is my desk. I like a lot of colors, if you cannot tell. I like things that are colorful. But that's it. That's, that's my crib. Seniors, your cap and gowns will be delivered Friday, March 18th in the auditorium. Please make sure that all your fees and fines are paid in the bookstore prior to pickup. Contact Johnson's directly if you have not yet placed your order for your cap and gown at 602-765-7337. Graduation as of right now will be Saturday, May 21st at 3 p.m. at the Cardinal Stadium. This date and time may be subject to, subject to change. View our school calendar to keep up with any changes that may be made and to view dates or times for other schools in our district. What is the name of the brain chemical known as the love hormone? Love. <laughs> no, it's oxytocin. Wait, 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 I don't want to... What is the name of the brain chemical known as the love hormone? I have no clue. It's oxytocin. How much money do Americans spend on chocolates for Valentine's Day each year? Um, $50. A billion. Dang. How much money do Americans spend on chocolate for Valentine's Day each year? Um, a million? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's a billion. <laughs> a bit? A bill? A hundred dollars. Like as a whole? Yeah. Like a lot. Three billion. <laughs> a billion. A billion? A billion. About like four, four thousand? It's one billion. It's like one person, like the whole. The whole, yeah. I love it. A million dollars? It's a billion. Yeah. 50,000. A billion. <laughs> what? Dopamine. No. Cool. <laughs> Oxytocin. Oh. <laughs> You're in my psych class one day. Bro. <laughs> it's. I It's oxytocin. It's oxytocin. It's oxytocin. So welcome to the anime club. Thank you.